Hey everyone, welcome back to Sisters Cozery. Leah and I, um, this is really impromptu, yes. but we were talking about um, some video ideas for January and mm -hmm. February, and for some reason we got on the uh, topic embarrassing of stories. embarrassing stories. So, we're doing embarrassing <laughs> stories today. We, um, <laughs> we have lots of embarrassing stories, mm -hmm. some more embarrassing than others, Yes. and I think we've made a little bit of a a pact that we're not going to share our super embarrassing stories yes. until so. much later down the road. We get a certain amount of subscribers. Maybe. Yeah, I feel like we would lose subscribers if yeah. we told our <laughs> really embarrassing stories. Exactly. So this might have yeah. to wait a little bit. Yeah. So we've settled on some mid-range mm -hmm. for now. Some classic go-tos we tell people. Yeah. Little anecdotes. Exactly. So anyway, we'll just get right into it. My embarrassing story takes place in my grandfather's church, which already sounds pretty horrible. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I was 12 years old and I had an older friend. I thought she was like this really cool yeah. girl. I mean, she was she was like my older cool friend, you know what I mean? So anyway, um, no, we never wanted to hang out with Leah. <laughs> no, but anyway, so we decided to come up with a skit for like the really little kids, like the five-year-olds and like that kind of yeah. age range. So um, we, for some reason, had the brilliant idea of dressing up as clowns to deliver this little skit message, if you will. So um, we got decked out in like our clown attire. <laughs> I just remember, I mean, she had like the full-blown like clown suit on with like the wig and I think I think we painted our faces. You did. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, we painted our faces. I didn't have a clown suit, so I wore like this white, puffy, like 50s <laughs> circle skirt with um, one of those big, um, like fishnets. Uh, what are, the, what are um, those called? Like a, a dress fluffer. It was like a slip. I but don't know. I don't know That's the name. I don't know the name of it. But anyway, it was just it was basically a slip that made the <laughs> skirt like poofier. <laughs> so anyway, I was wearing that with my wig, and um, I had this horrible, <laughs> huge, like clown nose. But it wasn't just like the foam ones. It was one that you strapped to your face, <laughs> <laughs> and it blinked red on and off. Just blinked. <laughs> So anyway, um, we decided to come down the aisle dancing to like a youth group song. I yeah, forget what it was. I don't know. Some, I don't know. But anyways, so we come prancing down the aisle, <laughs> like doing our little clown moves. like. <laughs> and my skirt, the slip falls off. So instead of picking it up to put it back on me or like, you know, being discreet about it, I kick it off. <laughs> like, it's part of the act. <laughs> like, yeah, let me kick off my skirt in the middle church. of church with little kids and like, you know, older people around. Like, <laughs> that's a good idea. So anyway, um, I get down to the front and we kind of, like that ends our dance sequence. <laughs> so we get up there and my um, friend and I had already like talked about what our little skit was gonna be. It was gonna be like a simple, sweet, like Jesus loves you kind of story. Yeah. Like it wasn't gonna be anything other than that. It's gonna be a short 10 minute little like cutesy message for five year olds. So anyway, <laughs> we get up there and we kind of go into what we were planning on talking about. <laughs> Then my friend decides it's a good idea to start preaching hellfire and brimstone to five-year-olds, <laughs> literally oh, saying like, describing how hot hell is basically. <laughs> so anyway, um, <laughs> so I kind of give up because I'm just standing there. She's pacing back and forth yeah. like, with, like her clown stuff with her clown suit on. <laughs> preaching to these five-year-olds and I'm just kind of <laughs> standing there. No, I'm anything. just standing there with my big clown wig and my blinking nose. <laughs> just like, I don't know what to do. I'm just standing there and I'm just like a distraction because I see these like kids <laughs> looking at me like, what's she gonna do anything? So I finally just give up and I go sit down on the stage next to my, my grandfather. <laughs> Um, so the entire time, and this was supposed to be like a 10 minute thing, 
she was up there just, you know, really yeah. putting it to those five-year-olds. <laughs> And it was like a 20 minute thing and we were, I was sitting up there and, and my mom, this is the golden part, videoed it. So you see my friend pacing back and forth, like preaching basically, and me sitting up on the stage with a blinking red <laughs> nose the whole time. And that is my most embarrassing story. Not my most embarrassing story, but one of my most embarrassing stories. It's really good. Thank you. I like it. <laughs> I'm really glad I wasn't part of that skit. No. <laughs> it was too cool for that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know where to start with this. I'm trying to figure out how old I was. Probably like 13, 14. 13 or 14. Yeah. Okay, so this also takes place this is at the same time. So, yeah, wow. What is up with it? <laughs> so, so um, there was a new youth pastor, and he had a teenage son that I just thought was like the cutest thing ever. And I was 13, I think, maybe 14, and he was. Um, he's about you, my age, age. So, yeah. so he's about like three years older than me. So you know, at that age, it's too much of an age difference, I think. But anyway, so and too, I was like this little goofy kid, you know. <laughs> oh my gosh! So I was kind of like this really like goofy, dorky kid that was just really awkward all the time. But I was obsessed with him. All right, so Elizabeth had a boyfriend that went there, and it was his best friend. So. Um, and sometimes we would just like hang out. We would go to like the that town's like games. I don't know, just random stuff like that. Like basketball. And so like I would always like want to hang out as a group so that I could hang out with him because it was his best friend and you know they were dating. So I was just like that that works, you know. So um, <laughs> that's my end. Exactly, <laughs> that's my end. So I had Elizabeth do my makeup because at this time like I, I would never really wear makeup unless like you know just for rare occasions and stuff. So Elizabeth did my makeup and she did my hair and I looked really and cute. Let me just add <laughs> as well. This is at a time where I did not really know what I was doing <laughs> hey, I and I'm like <laughs> I mean she looked good but she was wearing way too much makeup for yeah. a 13 year old so anyway so yeah so I was wearing a lot of makeup and so um, Elizabeth's ex-boyfriend and her decide it's a really good idea to really set the look off by not wearing my glasses I didn't have contact at the time either so you know it just kind of made me not look be older. able to see anything and oh look yeah older and stuff <laughs> So I'm sitting in the back seat and stuff like that, and then we go pick him up to, I forget what we're gonna go do, but anyway, I guess probably go to the game. So anyway, so, um, um, so her, your ex-boyfriend um, made it so like his light would come on when he opened the door. Oh yeah. Because sometimes I oh, would do it. Oh yeah. So it was like, <laughs> being I'm like this <laughs> person in the back seat. Here I am. Bye. <laughs> Ready for my clothes. <laughs> so, um, so he gets in, he's like, hey. And I think he noticed a little bit or whatever, but then like I think we went to the game and then um, we come back to my grandparents and like I think they had just gone to bed and so like the light was out in the house and we didn't know um, like the porch light. Yeah, the porch yeah. light was off. So we didn't and I didn't know where the light switch was. We were just going to tell him bye and stuff. So um, this guy was always doing like hands like that stuff. Yeah, good. just <laughs> <laughs> like handshake stuff. Like, like you know, like, like the and, like the cool handshake yeah, that we don't know how to yeah, do. Yeah, we, because I'm I was never cool. Yeah. So not. <laughs> so and but I couldn't see anything and I forgot my glasses in her ex boyfriend's um, uh, glove compartment. So that was just you know also really great. So I was standing there, I was squinting like, and I was getting closer to his face and I wasn't <laughs> trying to like like I'm sure he probably thinks I was trying to like kiss him awkwardly, but I just remember like squinting and like looking at him like this. <laughs> And I just was like, <laughs> and I didn't know if he was coming in for like a hug or like, cause he would do all sorts of like that. Yeah, like the, yeah, like, like the, this, the, this thing this stuff. Or And so I was just like, <laughs> and I was just squinting at him and like gave him a weird handshake and it was the most awkward thing ever. So yeah. So, and, but the thing is, is that his, because I was so obsessed with him and I was so young, I would always do really stupid things around his sister and his parents. Like, every time I had word vomit, I could just not function, apparently, <laughs> around them. I just would, and I'm sure they probably think I'm like this crazy person. But anyway, so um, his sister and I, and we were all like on, we were going to some kind of like youth thing. Yeah. On the church and she bus. was like a cool girl. She was really cool, yeah. and I thought she was really nice and stuff. So she was, yeah. Yeah. So, um, so we would always pack a ton of snacks. Um, yeah. She and like Elizabeth and I would always like we had like we this still do. Yeah, we yeah. still do. <laughs> so um, I got you know dots. Okay, so it's like. Um, they're, well, they're just dots, and they're like gummies or whatever. Yeah. But they had different flavors and stuff. So um, she was, so she was eating some of them, and she was like, "The red ones are fire," <laughs> and I was like, "I think they're cherry." <laughs> I didn't 
realize that fire was like, oh, these are good. These yeah. are cool. Yeah. And I was <laughs> like, it's very cheery. Because I thought, because they're like red hots and like yeah. cinnamon ones. And I thought that's what she meant. <laughs> Did but she catch? Or she just looked at me and was like, all like what are you talking about? You poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Poor thing. Yeah. So, yeah. So, those are two of my memories. I like two of the things I remember doing really stupidly in front of them. But, yeah, it was just really awkward. <laughs> My fifth grade class took a trip to this local, um, it's just like an outdoor museum. Oh, it's the same, we have a birthday video from yeah. that one. It's the Museum of Appalachia, our birthday vlog uh, mm -hmm. is where this took place. Yes, <laughs> Much, a long, long time ago. So yeah, we'll link it below. <laughs> but anyways, so my friend and I, we just decided to look around together and we spotted this really cute guy from another school <laughs> and we decided to like follow him around the park at a distance and just kind of be i guess stupid girls like silly little like middle school girls so anyway we were following this guy around all day and um it's getting toward the end of our trip and we have we have been saying the whole time oh we should talk to him or, yeah. or something like that and um, of course, neither one of us was really gonna do it. No. But so, so at the museum, there's different walking trails you can go on. And this is, again, this is an outdoor museum. So if you're looking at it from um, the start of the trail, you can either take the trail that's down here on the bottom of the hill that goes through um, like the middle of the, like the courtyard mm -hmm. and stuff, or you can take the one up above on top of the hill where you can walk through and see some of the older cabins and things. <laughs> so, um, so we took the top trail because he took the top trail. <laughs> so we were walking and like, I mean, there's like, I mean, at least 15 or 20 schools there. I mean, it was like a school day, like a field trip day, you know? So it was very crowded. And, um, so my friend and I, we were walking behind and we, got to the point where we were like kind of shoving each other, you know, playfully just to be like, you go talk to him, you go talk to him. So anyway, my friend gives me a good shove <laughs> and I like trip over this um, like root that's coming out of the ground. I trip over the root, nearly like fall on him. And then <laughs> I topple down the little hill onto the other trail. Like I land on the other trail, like, <laughs> this and I just remember looking up <laughs> to the people I fell in front of and saying sorry <laughs> and I'm like my knees bleeding I'm covered in dirt like <laughs> my friends at the top of the hill laughing at me it was horrible oh my god <laughs> so yeah that's my other embarrassing that's hilarious story. it's so oh bad my god. sorry <laughs> sorry <laughs> yeah when I was a wee little lass, um, there was, so on rainy days, we would have to play in the gym. Yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's a common thing. Um, but sometimes it would be like a mixed um, grade of recess. Mm -hmm. And so the older kids like terrified me. <laughs> and we, they would play this game called chicken tag. Okay. And I hated this game because it, for some reason, the rubber chicken, okay, so if you don't know what it is, rubber chicken tag is like, you have like this, um, like rubber chicken and you run around with it and you hit people and then they're It probably dead. wouldn't be allowed in school. Probably, I don't know, yeah. but anyway, I think that, I mean, so anyway, so you just hit people with it. Yeah. Anyway, so it's chicken tag. So, um, so I remember just like running for my life and not being able to run faster than like fifth graders and stuff like that too, because it wasn't just <laughs> kindergartners, so these kids could run. And Leah has always been a very small, like person she's just a petite woman i'm sure i was more like two feet yeah tall. so she looked like you know very i was probably yeah. like two instead of four so <laughs> so i was trying to run and run away from it and i just remember thinking it was the most terrifying thing that they could just do to me so i told mom and dad that it was like and i wasn't a really fussy kid like i didn't no. cry about a lot of stuff like that so mom and dad were like, well, for some reason, it really bothers her. So they yeah. wrote a note to my gym teacher, to my teacher to give to my gym teacher saying that um, Leah was having some troubles in gym class because of chicken tag or something, or she didn't like it. Yeah. So it was another rainy day and we got back in there and they did the worst thing. They gave me the chicken. Because <laughs> they thought that I was like 
Oh, oh like that you didn't yeah, get a the, turn. Yeah, it hurt my be... feelings that I didn't get to be the tagger. Yeah, oh. And I was just like, <laughs> why are they giving it to me? <laughs> I don't want to touch it. And I think I probably, I think I like cried or something. I was just like, no, I don't want, like I didn't want to play because I hated that game. It was so traumatizing for some reason. I just hated That's chicken tag. Oh my God. So maybe I'll start getting like rubber chickens. I, didn't, I mean, I, I knew that story, but I didn't know all of those Yeah, it really details. scared me. That's so funny. I hated that game. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed some of those stories. Yes. <laughs> it was very hard for us. It really was. <laughs> so anyway, um, thank you guys for watching and subscribe if you haven't yes. and check back for new videos and we will see you next time. Chat soon. See you. Bye. So we've got the... Um, <laughs> Hey everyone! No, that was bad. <laughs> hey everyone! <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back! back. Yeah. <laughs> you ready so for happy. some stories? I feel like Kimmy Schmidt. <laughs> yeah. Hi! Like you, um, do we have collective story? Together. <laughs> like the middle. Together. Um. Okay, so my next story. Little story. <laughs> She did not think that was funny. I, don't, I thought it would make her feel special. Cause that's like just what people do. Yeah. And what the girl won, and she was like trying to wrangle me. I gave my teacher a kiss once on the cheek. Which one? My second grade teacher. And she was like, oh that's so sweet, but honey, we can't do that.